Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Little Regret 265 and today we have a quick daily race for you in the Mazda FCRX7 at Suzuka East. You might notice that we're starting in 11th place today and that's because we only had one lap of practice and this is my first race in this car. And what I'll also say about this before we get going is that everything, every last thing about this race was completely stupid, including myself and some bad calls I made. I let my sportsmanship rating fall to SRA prior to this and I got grouped with a bunch of maniacs and people who couldn't keep the car on the freaking road. As you see, when we get the race underway, you can see I can't really put all the power down right away as I'm still stuck in the final turn. But as we get onto the front straight, we see some passes already being set up and things are going to get a little bit crowded up there just ahead of me. But we're also going to make up some good ground. It looks like the guy who was starting in 8th or ninth had a bad start. And you can see things get a little bit hairy heading into T1 as it back off just a touch, but still definitely trying to make up some ground. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to kind of sit back and wait because it's pretty packed and there's plenty of rubbing going on for everyone, including a bit for me too. And for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to run an H-pattern shifter with a clutch when I know in my heart that I'm terrible at it, struggling with it, and you can sort of see that I'm sucking at it but I never really managed to do anything except third or fourth gear in this race because that's all I could really manage and still focus on the driving itself. But after some of the uh, out of control stuff and on the grass driving that you can see up here, I'm gonna get pretty lucky, manage to make a few passes and sit at eighth at the end of lap one. I'm actually gonna get a nice good run as the car gets a little bit sideways out of the final corner and I'm gonna set my sights on seventh with some nice solid slipstream. gonna stay in there as long as I can, catch as much draft as possible, and then make a move on the inside, getting a little bit bold with it. It gets to be a bit much here as I let the back end of the car step out and slide to the outside, maybe trying to race a bit too hard when I should be focusing on keeping it clean. He might not have been too happy with that move, might have had to jump on the brakes, but he does race me clean. I managed to move up to sixth place after Maelstrom spun out in turn two. I'm actually going to get a little bit of room to breathe after that one, set my sights on 5th as well. The funny thing I kind of noticed about this whole race is that everything was just kind of spinning round and around. You have the rotary engines just spinning everywhere, the track is kind of just a right hand oval with some S's in the back, and the cars are just slipping and sliding all over the place and half the field is just completely changing order. And you can see I'm having a bit of a hard time keeping the car pointed straight because I want to pretend like it's initial D every two or three corners. And I'm just not Ryosuke, and I have a bit of a lead foot. But I do manage to make a lot of headway on fifth place. I'm reeling him in a bit as we come around for another lap. Getting a whole lot of that meh sound from the shift prompt. A lot of fun. And make another move on the inside. Starting to get a little bit less risky, but still frisky as I head into turn one with some mild oversteer. If there's anything I've still got to work on, definitely be the throttle control of this combo. Got a bit too sideways too often. And to be honest, I probably should have used traction control with how slippery the car is, but I thought I could do it well enough with just default ABS. To be fair, I probably would have killed someone if I hadn't, though, so at least there's some bright side to this. But you can see I'm really having to muscle the car around a bit. Even though I'm definitely not going at 10 tenths, I am kind of overstepping the car's capabilities a lot more than I'd like. It is a fun drive, though, and while I did mention the shift prompt was annoying a second ago, the rotary sound from the engine is always addictive in some kind of strange way. And I'll also say that I really like this selection. Some of these daily race combos are more fun to drive, but it can also turn out to be a bit of a recipe for disaster, as you saw like on lap one towards the back of the pack. I can only imagine what this kind of thing would have looked like at SRB and below, because this was already kind of bad and I was at SRA, and a lot of these guys were S. See, I'm starting to really reel in fourth place right now. The car gets very slippery as I'm heading through turn two. I'm trying to push just a little bit harder to really get this guy closer to me. But as I head through the S's, I'm not looking too shabby. It seems like I've got the line just about right and I'm finally keeping the car going in uh, the right direction. But I get a little bit too heavy with the throttle here. The car's going to come around and I can't catch the tank slapper because my reflexes are just a bit too slow even though I try several times. And like an idiot, I park it in the middle of the track and the game has to reset me. 
Thankfully, I was ghosted to the other drivers, but that was awfully costly. I'm gonna fall back to seventh place for that one. Sometimes you just don't get lucky and you have to play the hand that you're dealt. And uh, I was definitely a bit more heated when that actually happened. Definitely wasn't too happy with it, but sometimes that's just the way it goes and you have to do what you do. And I will take it across the line in seventh. If I had been a bit more precise recovering from that spin, could have maybe just had a shot at fifth or sixth. As you can see, they both got a little penalty at the end there because of some of the rough driving that was going on. I'm sure, they were fighting hard for their positions though. And while there was a lot of stupid stuff going on, I did really enjoy the combo, and thankfully I got my sportsmanship rating back up to S after that race, as well as starting a streak of clean races, even with the minor bumps and the embarrassing spin at the end there. Hopefully I won't have to deal with too much more of the crazy stuff like that, as long as I keep it on the straight and narrow, and I make sure to practice more before the race, because I did not get enough practice. But as ever, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked it, leave a thumbs down if you didn't. Tell me what I did right, tell me what could be done better down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Please have a great day and I hope to see you all next time.